The dramatic chases between street law enforcement and violators have become a fascinating theme for many. And here are the thrilling situations that captivate your attention, making it impossible to look away. After running a red light, a vehicle was signaled to stop, but the driver attempted to flee immediately. A successful PIT maneuver by the police vehicle forced the car to come to a stop on the roadside. Exceeding the speed limit at night is extremely dangerous, as it can lead to collisions with multiple vehicles. When instructed to stop, the driver fled immediately. Fortunately, the road was relatively empty, and the police executed highly professional PIT maneuvers, preventing the violator from escaping. Another vehicle, involved in a collision, fled the scene. A 911 call was made to the local police, and a police car was dispatched immediately. The pursuit involved two additional reinforcement police vehicles. The success and courage of the police officers helped them timely prevent further danger that the fleeing driver could pose to other vehicles. The police car accelerated upon spotting the black car speeding. The siren glared, and the stop signal was given, but the driver, ignoring all risks, continued to weave through traffic lanes, endangering many moving vehicles.
the speed reached a maximum of 100 miles per hour, and the driver began to lose control, colliding head-on with a white car on the road. The impact was significant, causing a three-car collision. The driver fled the vehicle, crossing the road dangerously amidst oncoming traffic and into a wooded area. However, he was apprehended shortly afterward. The man driving in an impaired state was requested to pull over and undergo inspection by a police officer. Suspected of being under the influence, the driver attempted to flee immediately upon the re-inspection request. However, he didn't get far before losing control, veering off the road and crashing into a tree. Get out! Get out! Close to 1130 MS as well. Get out! Yep! The police officer instructed him to exit the vehicle, but it seemed impossible for someone intoxicated. You tell me. Cannot connect to That's brutal. What is? With the assistance of the state law's enforcement team, the man's vehicle was inspected shortly thereafter. Uh, it's a push start, so I don't know if it turned off automatically. Okay. No illicit substances were found in the car. He was charged with offenses including driving under the influence, reckless driving, and attempting to evade law enforcement. A crash has been detected. Uh, what did you do? Uh, cannot connect. Well, sorry, to the phone. Hey, who's the governor? Who's the governor? Oh, okay. What, uh, where are we at right now? Do you know? A recently stolen SUV was reported to the police headquarters. Upon identifying the make and color, the police promptly pursued the suspect. The vehicle then made a right turn, crossed the grassy area and shifted to the lower lane. The car sped at a relatively high speed, weaving through multiple vehicles. After ascending a bridge at a speed of 80 miles per hour, the police noticed sparse traffic and executed an intervention, causing the SUV to spin on the road. Immediately following, the police apprehended the suspect successfully concluding the criminal pursuit. A speeding vehicle suddenly raced past a police car. Observing that the driver was not wearing a seatbelt, the police car, colored blue, 
caught up as they entered the city highway at speeds up to 100 miles per hour. The car began swerving at high speed and then continued to flee. After the suspect turned right off the main road, the police realized that this was an opportune location to bring the vehicle to a stop, given the heavy traffic on the main thoroughfare. The successful intervention followed immediately. The tactical unit swiftly surrounded the vehicle. The suspect had no more escape routes. A call from the North Little Rock Police Department urgently requested state police assistance in halting a fleeing vehicle. Without hesitation, a state police car promptly joined the pursuit. The speeding car was brought under control after a 10-mile chase. The driver leaped out of the moving vehicle, running through a nearby iron fence. After sprinting approximately 100 meters, the suspect was apprehended by an officer. Subsequently, he was handcuffed and taken to the police headquarters, facing multiple serious charges. Yeah, 
a Magnolia police car was in pursuit of a black Dodge Charger on US Highway 79 near Walmart. They requested assistance from the Arkansas State Police, initiating a chase. This pursuit became particularly challenging as the police once again lost track of the suspect. After turning off lights and sirens, intending to abandon the chase due to the lack of visual contact, the police received information that the suspect's vehicle was heading their way. The officer deployed a spike strip, causing the suspect's tires to flatten, rendering the vehicle immobile. The pursuit concluded with the suspect being placed in handcuffs before being transported to the police headquarters. I hope these will be valuable lessons for us, enabling us to drive safely. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting information. Goodbye, and see you again in the next videos, my dear friends.